nothing God wants to do that doesn't have a purpose. God is a God of purpose. Why will God give you supernatural increase? He has one of the purposes that he wants to bless you to be a, a blessing. He wants to use you to expand the kingdom of God. To be a child of blessing. with like 10,000 or 20,000 in this hall? I want to use to demonstrate. 10,000 no's or 20,000 no's? Let me explain what I mean. Let me close the, the plan. Let me close with 10,000. Count like 10. Yes, this is a bundle. God bless you. It's 20. God bless you. Now, it's okay. Now, look at this. This is my harvest, for instance. This is my what? This is somebody's harvest, for instance. Don't worry, I'm okay with it. God bless you. Now, this is harvest. This is what? Now, this harvest that is with me, either from business, from my salary, from anything, this is my harvest. Whatever comes to you is an harvest. Is what? Somebody gave you dash, anything is a harvest. If I have this as my harvest, inside these, there are two things. There is a seed and there is a fruit. There's what? This is what I do. If I want another harvest, I will from this, whatever, let me just assume that this is 50,000. I can't be counting money. I don't count Naira. Sorry to tell you. I don't count Naira. I'm not joking. I, I don't think I, I've counted Naira for the past few years now. Let me not try to say. I don't count Naira. It's not a sin, but I don't count it. I don't have that kind of time. I would better read the Bible. Now that I give to my boys to count, no matter the amount, I don't count that. I mean, I'm too busy to count that. If you keep it in bundle, I can just pick the bundle I want. But to come and say, my day, no, no, no. The time I used to count that one, I used to read John chapter 1. <laughs> now, let's say this is 50,000. I'm just assuming. Now, this 50,000, when it enters my hand, if I want another harvest, I'll have to replant. After what? First thing I will do is to remove tight. So remove what? As soon as it's 50, what is the tight? 5,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is tight. To the kingdom of God. This is 90% remaining. From this 90, I must give offerings. Must give what? That one is discretional. I use my discretion to know how I want to do it. It's not fixed. This one is fixed. Non-negotiable. Any attempt to touch this can cost your life. This one is what? If you touch this, it's exactly what Adam did. God will push you out of the garden of Eden. You go to the garden wilderness of our head. I will not give any percentage I like. I don't want to go into that one teaching. But out of this again, I will plant into a different kingdom. Sunday, the offerings we are giving now, prophet offering, the different, different parts, scatter them. That's when they see that. Now, once I do like that, God will bring another harvest. Next time, it will increase from 50 to 60, 70, 80, 90, depending on how much I am able to scatter. From that again, I will do what? plant again. It will keep increasing. But if I say, no! The money I have is too much. God, no way! Give me this 5,000. As I don't believe in this nonsense, pastor will chop my money, no. And I decide to eat all this. That is when the cycle will stop. When that money finishes, forget it, there will be no favor from anywhere. Heavens we close. Pop. And money you think today is big is nothing. It can be spent in one challenge. Do you understand it? So every time you get a harvest, you plant, you replant for another harvest. Let me explain. I had 50 naira. How much? My wife is my witness. 50 naira, 1997. I planted the 50 naira. It went to 2,000 naira. 2,000 naira, I removed tithe offering, profit offering, it shifted again. 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 
With all humility, you know that I'm not in M level. Whatever level you can take. I'm not in B level. I'm riches with that end. So you cannot quantify my wealth. Riches in the same glory in Christ Jesus. So there's no way. I saw on the internet once say 1.5 billion, once say 15 billion. I say it's an insult. How can you equate me 15 billion? That's an insult. What I have. I call it forth every time from heaven. If I want anything, I just say, Father, supply it. He supplies. So how can you quantify that kind of man? You can't size my money. It's an insult to size my money. I just say, Father, I need it. He supplies. He supplies what? My needs. So you can't quantify how much I have because I don't operate with bank account. I operate with heaven's account. If I need one billion, I just say, Father, it's one billion. He will supply the one billion. That's how I operate. So such persons, you can't use our physical cash to assess us. So, all I'm saying is every time you get on harvest, what do you do? Replant. What do you do? A farmer that eats all his harvest will not have another harvest. True? A simple principle. If I go to the farm and get my crops and I say, no, I'm not going to plant again. Can prayer change it? When I finish eating those crops, that's the end. So when God blesses you and you don't sow back to the kingdom, Heavens will be short. That's why some of us have breakthrough once. We don't have breakthrough again because we didn't plan back again. It's a cycle. Is it what? You get, you plant, you get, you plant. You can never be broke for life. But once you stop, the cycle also stops. How many understand it?